welcome back to Ages How You Wear vlog style. I'm not going to keep naming or numbering the vlogs because I'm not going to remember. I think I'm on number eight. Anyway, so I bring you, I started in a different place. I'm downstairs in my living room because I wanted to show you, first of all, you know, I got the workout challenge going on. So shout out to Carletta who has joined. She's one of the original butterflies and she has joined in the workout challenge. So let's go. Mm -hmm. Anywho. So before I take this makeup off and get to, cause I already got my workout outfits on. I said, let me jump up here and start the vlog because I'm gonna show you some of the things that I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and film some of the things I'm gonna do during the, um, during my workout section. And um, I also wanted to show you something at my wet bar. Now, you know your apartment is old when it has a wet bar. So let me turn you around. Okay, so this is my wet bar. And I wanted to show you some of the things because what I'm showing you will end up in me telling you some good news. So on my wet bar, I got things from when I traveled. Like this um, is from Tortola in the uh, British Virgin Islands. This is a souvenir from that, this flask. And all of this right here, like this silver set, this is stuff that I want for my new place. So I bought it and I just display it up here because I'm gonna have me a, I wanna have a rolling bar. Um, and so this is just stuff that I'm accumulating cause I want it to be silver uh in white and black so this is what i'm accumulating right now and this glass here is from cozumel mexico and isn't this a beautiful hand painted painted margarita glass that's why i like traveling because you get stuff you're not going to see just anywhere and let me know if you are if let me know if you've ever had one of these paintings if you know you know if you know anything about these paintings from years ago let me know if you have one i still have mine so i think this is about 20 years old no probably 24 24 years old so let me know below if you know where this picture is from. Okay, so I showed you some of my trinkets, which I got a lot more things that I have, but it's not bar related that I have from travels. Um, so let me go ahead and tell you what I'm talking about. Well, I booked my very first cruise by myself yes this girl will cruise by herself in january i am going to aruba so yes i finally booked the um carnival cruise i decided to go with carnival and then i'm gonna do norwegian and then so forth and so on so you will be joining me as i go on these adventures by myself now it is a seven day cruise and if you are planning on booking a cruise, you have to be vaccinated for now, right? Change. You have to have uh, te be tested. Um, if you get your booster, it's seventy. It's forty-eight hours before t sale date. And if you just been vaccinated only, it's um, seventy-two hours. So, or one or the other. But check your cruise line because by the time you look at this, that could be changed. Because at first you had to wear a mask on board the whole time and they've removed that. So by the time I sail, you may not even have to do a COVID test at all. So anyway, I just wanted to show you my little bar area and also introduce the fact that I'm going on a cruise. I am so excited. So let me show you my little workout station before I take this makeup off. Okay, so this is my little workout station. Um, I have my mat. I have uh, 
where I do my uh, push-ups. I need that thing because I can't do regular push-ups by myself. I need something to help me do push-ups. And then the um, I have my bells. You see they have the 25, I think 10 and 15, I believe. I have my leg, um, let me see if you can, if I can zoom. I have my leg weights. Those I do when I do my leg exercises and then I have my five pound weights depending on what I'm doing. So today I am gonna show you, I'm gonna choose just a dance routine on YouTube. I'll show you some of that um, and I'll show you how I do my squats and my push-ups. So I do them in intervals so i'll show you that so just a little uh workout a uh, little routine and i'm just going to show you part of it and let's go Okay, so you saw me doing my workout. It's been like 45 minutes because I was about to pass out. So I had to, once I was finished everything, um, I did uh, 45 minutes of working out. And I'm going to do a walk, but I'm only walking to Starbucks. Get me a nice little cool coffee. I might sit out and actually eat and talk to you for our talk of the day. I think I'll do it sitting outside of Starbucks. I think I might do that. But before we go, I have two packages. I have some Zara to unpackage. So let's see what we got. Oh, I can't wait. Because I can't remember. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's right. Now that I'm going back to work, I actually got me some pants from Zara. Okay, yeah. Um, these green, which is the color of the season. Um, and I like Zara pants. I hope I can fit these, honey, but... Oh, no, they got fake pockets? No. Oh, I can't stand pants that don't have pockets. These don't stretch. Oh, yeah, they stretch a little. Okay. So, I got these green ones. I like the way they look, though. Oh, yeah, and I got these gray ones. That's right. Look at these. Look at the buttons on the gray ones. You see the buttons? And they wide leg, and these are actually what they call it when they don't come a culotte kind of like it comes to it's made to come only to the ankle so you can see your shoes at the bottom. And oh man, these are really nice. I can't wait to try these on. And of course, I got them all in a large because you know with Zara, mm, I better hope I can fit these. But they see they wide leg but they the culotte type things and I'm short. So I'll style this. I got me a new girdle coming guys. Yes, honey. Mm, mm, mm. Mm, 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 mm. Gonna tuck it and tuck it in. And that way, cause that's what I used to do guys. When I lost my stomach, how I lost it, A is the stuff I stopped eating. B, um, I worked out at least 45 minutes every day, Monday through Friday. And I um, uh, I had a waist trainer on that I wore every day to work. Now I didn't keep, sometimes I would keep it on all day, sometimes I wouldn't. Um, it just started shaping my stomach. Um, you don't do any ab workout until your, the fat is starting to be really sloppy on your stomach. Why would I want to do ab workout and make my muscles make the fat that's there into muscle. Then I got this one big ball of muscle, but a still fat stomach. I learned that the hard way. So the more I lose weight, the more that will happen. But I can't wait to see how these are. Then I got a box. 
So let's see what's in here. And it's probably too late to return those pants anyway. So let's see what this is. As you can see. I've been wanting a pair of these. <laughs> Look at this green. It took forever for these to come in my size. Forever. I hope they can fit. I need is a pair of orange shoes. I want a pair of orange ones. So I'm not going to get the same type of shoe, but I want an orange pair of shoes. But look at these. Yes. They are everything. So that is my unboxing. My um, two pair of pants for me to wear to work and the shoes from Zara. Mm. See, so I, this green right here is everything, right? So I want to do a monochromatic look. The green with the green, and all I need now is a green shirt. And I, I believe I got a green blazer. If I ain't got a green blazer, there's something wrong with me. But you know my blazers be had so many colors in them, right? So I'm gonna see if I have a green shirt because I want to do a monochromatic look because I don't usually do that all one solid color now i did all one all white but that's not the same thing so okay guys let's walk put some more points on my watch let's go get us some coffee So I am at Starbucks. I got me, oh, I got me a caramel macchiato upside down. So I'm gonna shake that up. It's windy out here. I hope this thing don't fall. I also got me a grilled cheese, so um, anyway, so while I'm sitting out here, mm, so delicious. It's a nice day out here. It's not hot, but it's not nowhere near cold. And I think it's about the rain.
Okay, so you know I told you about my trip that I booked. So my topic for today is being afraid. I'm so used to doing my, going on my vacations with my ex-husband and or friends like my sister or family or friends and this is the absolute first vacation that I am taking by myself completely alone and for seven days and on a cruise ship and going um you know going far away <laughs> and I know people do it all the time but this is my first time so I'm scared and excited but if I never go out there and do things now that my life is different I can't just sit in the house and never do anything and I think it's even worse to sit in the house and never do anything with your spouse You know how you keep putting it off, we'll do it next year. There's too much going on right now. And it'll end up being where you never do it. So, now that I don't have anyone to travel with, why should I, why should I, that, that stop me from doing it, taking that next step. And I got plenty of time. It's not until January. And it to give me time, A, to get my nerves up, B, get my money right. Yeah, because I'm used to traveling with somebody who when my, my, once my money was gone, I still had his money. <laughs> and I can't wait to take y'all with me. But I am also going to go on a staycation somewhere not far. I want to go to New York. I want to do a staycation at home. I might just get a hotel room, maybe on a beach or something, and just relax. Every time you lay your head down was a missed opportunity, and every time you raise your head up is an opportunity. And I'm tired of sitting in the house and just going to work and coming home. Can't keep doing it anymore. Because trust and believe, if you get divorced or separate, separate, or you know, you and your spouse, it could have been y'all was married, or it could have been y'all just, you know, was living together, but it doesn't matter. If you was in a long term relationship, trust and believe me, it does not take a man long to jump back on the bandwagon at all. The period where you mourn the relationship. Get it out, sweat it out, eat it out, I don't care what you do. <laughs> sweat it out, cry about it, get it out, fuss about it, scream about it, then get your tail up and do something. If you're in a relationship and you notice we ain't did nothing, though. it went nowhere and, and everything don't cost a lot. Do a staycation. Go away for a night. Go on the beach if it's a beach in your area. Or go, maybe you like the mountains. Just take a day or two. Do something different for you. It's not just only doing for others. And this summer, for a month, my grandkids are coming, so y'all gonna meet them. I'm going to do a train ride to go get them. So that's a new experience for them.
I just plan on doing a lot this year and I'm going to bring y'all with me. But, like I said, fear. Don't let fear stop you. Don't let regret gnaw at you. I know this vlog was short and it wasn't a lot going on. But, hopefully it'll get better. Okay, my butterflies. As always, don't forget your worth and your beautiful inside and out. Bye, guys.